Welcome to Cloud Security Basics, a series where we explain the ins and outs of securing your application on Google Cloud. Sound fun? Then stick around, because in this episode, you'll learn about why you shouldn't log in to a compromised server instance during a breach. Greetings, Cloud Detective. Last episode, you used Google Cloud's Operations Suite to track down a compromised employee. But this time, I have finally gotten into your system. I really have. I repeat, I have breached your system. So riddle me this. What can you do about it now that I'm on the inside? Hurry up as fast as you can. Try to get me out before I swap all of the employee photos with cat photos. Okay, so here's what we know. Brad Actor says he's breached my system, which is a strange thing for an attacker to do, and I haven't received any alerts from my monitoring system. Maybe I should log in and see what I can find. Actually, no. That could be playing into exactly what Brad Actor wants. I almost just made a really big mistake and logged into the compromised instance. But many attackers plan for this exact response and actually try to steal admin credentials as they log in to fix the breach. So a general rule here is to avoid logging into a compromised server during a breach. Hmm. So how can I see if Brad Actor really did breach my system without compromising it further? Well. Luckily, we've set up an external store for our security logs that we can still check out what happened by putting our forensic artifacts in a separate place, in this case, a Google Cloud project, we can examine the problem without alerting the attacker. This lets us better understand what's happening and we can watch and record their actions to tip off local authorities if needed. We set this up by using Google Cloud Operations Suite's export feature in combination with Syncs, which are basically filtered exports for log entries. The supported destinations for Syncs can be a cloud storage bucket, a pub subtopic, a BigQuery table, or a cloud logging bucket. So we created a sync in our application program, the one Brad Actor says he compromised, and we copied those logs into a cloud logging bucket in our logs monitoring project. We ended up using a cloud logging bucket because unlike logs data that's stored in cloud storage, logs stored in cloud logging are indexed, optimized, and delivered to let you analyze your logs in close to real time. Another benefit of this approach is that it allows us to set up a system where we view all of our project logs in one place simplifying monitoring everything in our cloud environment. Looking through my logs, I don't see any suspicious activity. Hmm. I guess it's best just to be patient and wait this one out and see if anything does pop up. Oh, -ho, I got it. Now that's just devious. Drats, detective, you foiled my plan. It's true. I didn't fully breach your system, but I was hoping to steal your credentials when you attempted to log in. It would have been a mistake to immediately log into the supposedly compromised server. But I know you would have examined your audit logs, which means you must have set up a separate security environment for your forensic files. Well played, detective, well played. That's all from me for now, but I will come back more devious and mischievous than ever in the near future. So there you have it, another episode of Cloud Security Basics. For more information about securing your cloud environment, be sure to check out the links in the description below. So stay tuned for the rest of the Cloud Security Basics series, because when it comes to security, you can't let bad actors win. <laughs> <laughs>